Later this morning, we're going to hear from the parents of a baby that was decapitated during delivery. The Clayton County Medical Examiner has now ruled that death a homicide. It happened last July at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale. 11 Lives in Jerry Carnes is joining us with the latest on Jerry. What's a complicated and really difficult investigation into a baby's death? That's right, Cheryl. Good morning. Two separate autopsies and multiple agencies have been involved in this investigation that has lasted nearly six months. Now the parents of baby Trevion Taylor are ready to speak. We have to warn you that some of the details of this case are extremely disturbing. Horror at the hospital. After 10 hours of labor at Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale, Jessica Ross delivered a child that did not survive. It was three days later before Jessica and her boyfriend, Travion Taylor, found out that their child was somehow decapitated during delivery. The family quickly hired an attorney. This young couple just suffered one of the worst losses any human beings could ever, ever suffer. And they were manip manipulated by the hospital. Now, the Clayton County Medical Examiner has ruled the case a homicide caused by the actions of another person. The Emmy's report states that baby Travion Taylor suffered a fracture dislocation of the spine and spinal cord due to fetal entrapment in the birth canal. The six-month investigation included consultations with two independent OBGYNs. Shortly after the family filed a lawsuit against the hospital and a doctor, Southern Regional Medical Center issued a statement saying it had taken, quote, the appropriate steps in response to this unfortunate situation, adding the doctor named in the lawsuit was not an employee of the hospital. Southern Regional believes the baby died before birth. The family's lawsuit claims the doctor applied, quote, ridiculously excessive force on baby Travion's head and neck before delivering the child by C-section. And the medical examiner's report does not name anyone as responsible for the death. In their lawsuit, the family says that the hospital kept the manner of death secret from them and that they didn't find out until they were told by the funeral home. Back to you. All right, Jerry, thinking of that family this morning, that is devastating.